Welcome to In the Field. I'm Brad Hare with the University of Georgia College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. I'm here today with Dr. Dewey Lee, grain agronomist with the University of Georgia Cooperative Extension. Hey, Dr. Lee. Brad, good seeing you again. Good to see you, my friend. Gonna talk a little bit about corn, toward the end of corn harvest right now in Georgia. Hey, no irrigation meant no corn this year, do we? Yeah. That's exactly right, Brad. And it's really terrible for the dryland grower, but he uh, ended up abandoning uh, most of their fields. Now, the drought gripped the state during some critical growing stages for corn. Can you tell us a little bit about that? And what do you think yields are gonna be for Georgia right now? Well, for the irrigated grower uh, that was able to supply at least two and a quarter, two and a half inches a week, uh, he was able to sustain uh, that crop and its needs. And they're gonna harvest the best yields ever, Brad. Mm -hmm. Probably 250, 270, 280. There's even 300, and we've recorded this year 350 bushels from wow, Georgia on a per acre basis. It is a record. Yeah. It shattered the uh, previous records of near 300 bushels. Mm -hmm. So, but for those growers who could not supply, who could not meet that that great demand, uh, they're going to probably harvest about 20% less than they normally would, simply because that heat and that drought stress, that that period of time. Uh, ended up undermining the yield capabilities. It hurt that grain uh, in that, uh, that, during that growth period, and so they're going to end up harvesting less than they normally would. What's our average yield going to be in Georgia? How many acres do we have? Well, we had about 300,000 acres, yeah. and uh, uh, close to about 70% of that is uh, irrigated, yeah. and maybe even a little bit more this, this year. And, uh, and we'll obviously harvest all of that. Uh, the dry land, well, we're going to abandon the majority of it. Okay. And average yield, what do you think it's going to be? Well, we'll probably have uh, the highest yields recorded in Georgia on the average, uh, simply because when you abandon the crop, mm -hmm. it's not counted into that average. That's right. That's right. And so my guess is going to be close to somewhere between, 100 and, between 145 and 150 bushels. Gotcha. Now, for the first time, according to USDA, the majority of the U.S. corn crop will go into ethanol production this year and less into livestock. I shouldn't say less, but more will go into ethanol than will go into livestock feed. What are your thoughts on that? Well, actually, it's a great thing for the country. Uh, one, uh, the corn growers have to produce energy, and that's, that's needed certainly when we're relying on foreign oil. And the second thing, which is a lot of livestock growers don't realize and don't think about it, they just see the high price of corn, but they're able to buy the byproduct of this ethanol production, which is called distillers dry grains. And those DDGs, that's what we call them for short, uh, has a good protein value, has a good feed value, and it's actually a very high quality feed. And, and those livestock growers are actually utilizing that mm -hmm. to their benefit as well. So I believe it's a win-win environment for both of us. Well, that's a good thing. Well, Dewey, I appreciate you joining me today in the field, in the cornfield, actually. Definitely. <laughs> Brad, it's good to be with you, man. Hey, corn harvest is toward its end in Georgia. If you didn't have irrigation, you pretty much didn't have corn to harvest this year in Georgia. Now, the drought took its toll for sure, but there's been some good prices out there for corn and some good opportunity for corn growers in the future in the ethanol market. And until next time, take care, give thanks, and good luck.